it's Jeff here, back with another video. And today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to debone and fillet a whole chicken. All you need is a knife and a chicken. What you need to do is take out the excess fat that we don't need. Excess parts, excess fat. Always start with, with the breast. Always start from the breast and let the knife do the work. Let the knife do the work. See this joint here? Now, when you get to this part, be really, really careful. See this joint here? I want to cut between the, the parts that connects the bones. So you need to cut the joint. Keep going really carefully because this area at the back, the back of the chicken is really, has a little meat on it. So it's a really thin area. All you have is just the skin. A little bit of meat so you need to be super extra careful when you do this part you need to make sure not to rip the skin of the back of the chicken because once you ripped it you can't roll it and it's no use to you So just be extra careful when you don't do everything slowly. Take your time. Almost got the back done. Here's another joint in here that connects the back with the thigh. Also be careful around this joint. Now when you get to this part, you can just break, break the back and that's it, you got it. Now when you get to the wings, you need to cut this part off. Also, from the joint off. And then, with your small knife, it doesn't have to be small, it can be big, but the smaller the knife, the more comfortable it is to work. Just try to remove the bone or the meat that's connecting the bone, the wing to the body. So, so this kind of, you need to do this kind of movement. Remove the bone from the chicken. And just, just as you hold the bone, just remove the excess meat from it. Voila! And we do the same thing to the second wing, or what's left of it. You can do it with your finger. You don't have to use a knife. You can do it with your hand. Just put your finger in there and try to remove the meat from the bone. Voila. Now I'm gonna remove this extra skin from the neck. And 
we need to get now to the legs. And when we get to the legs, or the thighs, you search for the joint again. And you cut around the joint. You try to search for the bone. Once you've seen it, hold it with your hand and try to remove the excess meat around it. When it comes to this part here, you need to cut it like this and you just get the bone out and remove the meat from around it and remove the bone from the meat. Now make sure you don't leave any extra bones because nobody wants freaking bones in their chicken roulette. Now we need to remove the rest of the back. <clears throat> Always remember to feel with your hands where's the where are the bones? So your hands are, are key to this process. So always keep feeling around, checking where are the bones located, because you don't want to cut. You don't want to cut the skin. Especially in this area because the skin is very thin, as I said, in here. So the minute you rip the skin is the minute you ruin your chicken. It's okay if you get a like, little bit of extra bone in here because you're gonna clean it later. If you leave some bone on the chicken, you're gonna clean it later. But if you rip the skin, you cannot do anything about it later, so be careful. And always, rem always remember to sharpen your knife. Always remember to sharpen your knife while doing this because you need a really sharp knife. See, we got the second part of the back. And I ripped the skin. And I did exactly what I said we should not do. But this is fixable because it's not a, this is not in the middle and it's not a big hole, so it's fixable. I did exactly what I said not to do. Again, always use your fingers, use your hand, and search for that bone. Cut around the joint. Voila. Now, all what's left is to check if there's any extra leftover bones or any bones left in your chicken. You need to take it off. Parts from the joints. Now, to roll this chicken to a chicken roulette, you need to fill in the parts that doesn't have meat in it. So we got excess meat on the breasts. The breasts are so thick, right? You need to remove meat from the breasts 
and fill in the areas that doesn't have meat because you don't want your roulette to be empty in areas in some areas and in some areas filled with meat you don't want to be eating skins or your guests to be eating skins in an area so you fill it like this and this is how we fill our hole in the skin voila our chicken is done and it's filleted and it's deboned and here's how you get a, a whole chicken fillet and that's it guys there's nothing to it in this house there's no waste so these bones are going to be used and making a, of a delicious broth or some kind of a soup i hope you liked the video if you did like it give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down twice till next time